Well, here we go again. Another round around Narlepa again on the mountain skis. It's going to be very hard and icy. Uh, it hasn't snowed since the rain melted the snow and then froze over again. So he did do the trails. That's something. But I expect down to the shops it's going to be pure ice. So steel edges. Here they go. It's minus five. I see it looks like some ptarmigan have trapped all over the balcony here. That's very strange. It's definitely bird poos. There's one right here. So that may be a little big for ptarmigan. I'm not sure what it is. A rabbit? Who knows? There used to be a here living underneath my balcony. So, but I think it's been poisoned, unfortunately. It's terrible. Uh, and not to mention the uh, the mink uh, or uh, ermine. You know, we had two ermine living there. Unfortunately, they decided they couldn't have any wildlife here and they set out poison bait, which sucks. It was very cool having two little ermine and a here under my balcony. Uh, it's a little damp and cold and it's not very nice, but I needed some exercise after three days sitting inside on the computer. And it's not blowing much. It's supposed to only blow about five or six meters a second. It's still a little nippy. And now I've got mittens. So my hands keep freezing, so I had to pick some up at the shops. The uh, little corner store is everything. It has lures or wool knit caps, it has long underwear, it has mittens, gloves, you name it. And not to mention truffle oil and goose liver and about six kinds of olive oil. Uh, tenderloin and duck breasts and reindeer fillet and it's a luxury luxury yoker yokit eric for fiffin <laughs> it is for fiffin this one anyway so uh time to head down to the trail before i get too cold well people on racing skis pass me and within two seconds they are 50 yards ahead so what do you expect? It's very hard and icy. I'm glad I have mountain skis. If you're young, you can break a few bones. It doesn't matter, but not at my age. So very slippery skis, Baklata. This is really, it's hard enough and icy enough. You could use Klistid, although that's such a mess, a nightmare to get, to get off again. So it's supposed to snow tomorrow, hopefully. Eight millimeters or something that'll help. And he's done the trails, but it's really hard. It's not super conditions, pretty bad conditions, really. It's not pure ice, but it's really icy and hard. So it's not nice. And I have to go fishbone, fiskaben, even up the slightest slope, because I've got no grip, very slippery skis. So this is gonna be a painful trip. This is not for enjoying. This is just for getting a minimal amount of exercise in. Since I haven't gone for three days. Last three days it was blowing a storm. I was inside the whole time. So I need to get out today. And this could be the last one, last trip of the season because it's gonna blow 13, 15 meters a second for the rest of the week, pretty much every day, which is inside weather. That's too much. That's a not a gale, but I mean almost gale. So uh, that's not cool. So it puts you away. Mittens work well. They're nice and toasty. My fingers are not too cold. But this one is getting a bit cold, so it puts you away. Lots of people out. Very hard and icy. This is not very nice. I might turn back. This is really terrible conditions. I'm at the first plateau. I could be down in five minutes. This is really bad. I'll keep going a bit further and see how I feel. It's not very nice going up. This is too icy. It's pure ice. Uh, a lot of people going with racing skis. I don't see how they do that. Uh, I'll keep going a bit further anyway. But I have to fiskabane, fishbone, herringbone all the way up. Any, any slope I have to herringbone. This really makes it a bit painful. 
and this is a very flat light, very hard to see, so it'll be bad coming down. Flat light and icy is not a good combination, it's a good way to hurt yourself. Uh, so anyway, as you can see, quite a few people. It is a Saturday, and as you can see, really not much snow. It's really collapsed, melted, all the snow here. It's just a few centimeters, really, maybe 10 centimeters now, 15 centimeters. So all the bushes are sticking out and you can see the, well, there's the grass right there. So, I mean, it's, it's really melted quite a lot. All right, my fingers get cold, so I have to put you away. I may have to turn around. He hasn't done the trails. Uh, it doesn't look like it. It's pure ice. So he's just been invited for pizza by the neighbors uh, at 6 o'clock, which um, would be nice. <coughs> oh, I haven't seen them since last January. Colleagues of my mother. But it's a good night. Pizza night at 6 o'clock. That'll be good. But this is a problem. I don't want to come down. I don't want to go up much higher if it's all pure ice coming down. It's not going to be good and I can't really walk. I don't have any spikes in my boots. I may... It means going down some really icy bits towards the bottom, but I may turn around here. I think this is too icy to continue. I'll just head over that way a little bit. That's going towards the top of Nadalepa. He's done bits of Nadalepa, but not all of it. And it doesn't help much when it's this icy. So, I don't know if I want to go all the way up to the top here. It's really bad. And it's blowing quite a bit. Well, not that much, but this is a real problem. It's really too icy to ski. So I think, I think I'm turning around and going back the way I came because at least I know he's done the trail there. And then I have to navigate a few icy bits, but the rest of the way down is not too bad. So short trip, I'm not going to video on the way down because I need both hands. So I just made it to Lourdes, well, not very far, but as you can see, you know, it's terrible. It's pure ice, so there's really no point. So head back the way I came. I'll be down in 15 minutes as long as I don't twist a knee or do an Achilles or break a leg. I have to go very slowly. I think that's the safest course of action. This is not to be today. Trails are too crappy. Anyway, so I'll put you away and then we'll sum it up when I get back. It was a short trip. Well, that was an abortion. I got as far as Lortel and decided to turn around. It's pure ice. I hadn't done the trails or the one I was heading on. A lot of people out going despite it on racing skis and Markashi, regular classic skis and so on. So probably 30 people. And then there was a group of about 25 foreign students learning to ski on regular classic Nordic skis, Makashi, without steel edges, and it was pure ice, and I just don't, someone's going to break a leg. So they looked a bit wobbly, a lot of Americans among them. So I said, not the best day to learn how to ski, and I think they agreed. One of them saying, I'm very scared. <laughs> I see why too. That was no joke coming down, Was I went very slowly. So I went all of two kilometers, great, and maybe 40 minutes. So hopefully it'll snow, I hope so, because that was bad. And that was just pure ice, sheets of ice on parts of the trail. And only about this much snow, about 10 or 15 centimeters of snow left now. So I mean, it really needs to dump, you know, a good half meter or something. Uh, it's really disappeared. You can see out the window, if you can see, I'm not sure you can. Uh, the snow has really melted and it's really disappeared. So, uh, need poor fill. We need more snow. So, so much for that. I get to edit and grade the video again. That was a short one. 